Hello Libras, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well, you're doing fine. Libras, we're going to be doing your weekly reads, okay, from the 6th to the 12th of May. May or may not resonate because it's not a personalised reading, it's just a generalised reading, okay? Um, so Libras, you guys came in a second place, okay, with the last weekly reads that we did. So congratulations, we are going to be taking this into extended, okay? Um, and I think, um, oh gosh, I can't remember. I think it was Aries or was it Leo that came, um, no, it was Leo that came third and their extended is up as well, okay, so I thought I'd just put that out there because I forgot to notify them, okay, so if there's any Leos watching, um, yeah, your extended is up already, okay, so guys, um, let's see what's going on for you, okay, Libra, something rising, Venus and Ascendants, please, Angel, guys, what do we have for my Libras? We have a win-win outcome is forecast, okay? That's good. That's very good news, okay? Let's see what's going on with advice and guidance. Okay, we've got one flying out straight away. We've got another one that wanted to fly out. Um, we have a value your self-worth in reverse, okay? So for some of you right now, okay, it's about learning how to value your self-worth, okay? Valuing your own... Um, Having self-confidence in knowing who you are, okay? Um, because when we have self-respect for ourselves and our own self-worth and we listen to our higher selves, that's when um, we can attract the same vibrations, okay? For some of you, you're just not doing that, right, at the moment, okay? And you need to learn how to do that, okay? Right. So, let's get on to this main reading. Um, also, Libras, okay, um, these bracelets have had a tremendous amount of response, okay, um, in regards to people wanting them, okay, and they're going to be available on my website, but right now, obviously, due to the stock not arriving, okay, I can't really do anything in regards to it, so they're going to be unavailable just yet until the lockdown, hopefully, is over and that too soon, okay, um, but in the meantime, I do have new merch, okay, that has come, okay. There is new merch available, um, and if you are guided to support my channel in any way, please do so, okay? 20% um, off every purchase that is made goes towards um, a good cause, okay? I don't really get much commission, okay, back from any of the purchases, okay? Um, to be honest, I've checked it, and there isn't really much that comes back to me, okay? So, um, most of it, like I said, 20% goes towards um, a good cause, okay? And I always believe that whatever you give out to the universe, the universe gives back to you, whether that is good or bad, okay? So, if you are, again, like I said, guided to support um, a good cause and my channel, then go ahead and do so. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start off with your main energy, Woof, what's coming in? What's coming in? Okay, come on then. As it was going on for Libra's main energy, okay? What is the current energy for Libra's, please, angel guides? What is the current energy for Libra's, please? We had this fallout in reverse, the emperor. Libra's, you could be dealing with somebody who is a grown man in a baby's body, okay? Or baby's brain, shall I say. A, a grown man. Okay, who's acting like a baby, a grown woman who's acting like a baby, a pre-emperor, okay? We could have somebody who is very inflexible. You don't know which way they're going to turn at a certain point, okay? Um, their mood can flip, okay? They have control issues, okay? Let's see what's crossing the situation, though. Um, but right now, we're taking the emperor as upright, okay? But I will consider it in reverse. What's going on? What is crossing the situation? Please, angel guys, what is crossing the situation for my Libras? Some rising Venus. What's going on for my Libras? We have the six of cups. Could be dealing with an ex, a past person here, okay? Or a soulmate connection. What is on top of my Libra's mind? Woof, death, transformation. What is carrying Libras through? What is carrying Libras through? Guys, I'm on my third cup of coffee, okay? Because I'm still not awake. But don't ever make that mistake of drinking too much coffee, okay? You save that for spilling the tea, which is a new series on my channel, okay? It's called Keep the Coffee, Spill the Tea, right? <laughs> and my merch as well um, is, is is Spill the Coffee, um, right? Spill, Keep the Coffee, Spill the Tea. So, you know, you'll find it there on my merch store, Okay. Um, right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is carrying you through. Let's see what we need to know about your recent past. 
I'm so tongue twisted so you can pretty much understand why I needed the extra cup of coffee. We have the Page of Swords. Okay, let's see what's coming in your near future. What do we need to know for the near future, please? We're always keeping it live, real and organic, okay, on this channel. So if I'm tongue twisted, it is how it is, okay? But I don't sugarcoat anything, right? So it is what it is. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries here as well. Got a Scorpionic energy. Let's see what's going on for the person that you're dealing with or the situation that you're dealing with that's around you. What do we need to know, please, Angel Guides? What do we need to know? Temperance, okay. Let's see about your hopes and your wishes, your fears. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, that Ace of Pentacles came back out again. Let's see your overall outcome. Libra is always picking themselves up and moving on. All right. I like how Libras tend to like close the situation, okay, um, once it's over and then restart again, which is a great energy, okay. Uh, King of Cups, could be dealing with the water energy here, okay. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay. I think that for some of you, you're taking this uh, cup of love, okay, in a different direction to find your own happiness, okay? We usually do that towards the end, but it caught my attention. All right, so like I said, you're dealing with somebody here, okay, who is either a grown person and a immature mind, okay? This person is somebody who may be excessively controlling, okay, and it could be an ex, right? In your current situation, or somebody that you're currently dealing with that you've been in a relationship with a long time, okay? Um... We have on top of your mind a transformation or a transition where you're ending something and moving on, okay? Um, this is like the final final straw, basically, okay, for you and this person, all right? And even if you have to walk over this person, you're going to walk over this person and say, you know what, I don't care, all right? I don't care. Um, what's coming you through is the stability, okay, routine, efficiency, okay, having that grounded energy, okay, saving your money, making a house a home, all that good stuff, right? Page of Swords in your recent past means that you were being quite vigilant, you were being overprotective and guarding your energy and yourself, okay, while at the same time watching this person, you could have this person spying on you as well and watching you as well, okay? But I feel like this was kind of perhaps um, you watching this person and not getting any kind of like um, peace of quiet in your mind, okay, because this person probably didn't give you a good reason to have any peace and quiet, okay, in your life. Page of Wands, okay, I'm moving forward to the future, you may take a chance at something new, okay, have this energetic, um, you know, a free-spirited um, energy coming through, okay, where you're looking for a new direction in life, okay, and so this is all good, right now, within yourself, you're regrounding yourself, okay, um, you could be looking after your children, your home, okay, you could be a single parent, looking after your home, looking after your family life, okay, um, just really, really, really grounding yourself, okay? Um, with the temperance being here, okay, your person may have their feet in two places and they're not really bothered about it is what I'm getting from this, okay? Um, mixing things up a little bit, okay, to see where things go and how things are going. And so pentacles there is your hopes, okay, to invest in something big, in something new. Queen of Cups as your outcome is you becoming more emotionally aware about your emotions, okay? And also uh, becoming more intuitive about where you need to go, okay, and what you need to do. All right, so let's see what's going on here with the Emperor. Angel Guides, why is the Emperor here? Emperor wants to move away. Why is the Emperor here, please, Angel Guides, for my Libras? Why is the Emperor here, please? Yeah, okay. We have a reversal that just landed on that. Two reversals. Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So this person's made a house, a happy house, into a very disharmonious, a very disharmonious um, home, okay? Um... They've made things very awkward, okay, in the household. This happy home has not become a sad home, okay? They ruined it themselves, all right? And with the Four of Pentacles being here in reverse, okay, this person is um, only about themselves. Me, 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 okay? Um, it's, it's all about me, all right? My needs, my wants, very materialistic, okay? So whatever they do, they have their own selfish motive behind it, okay? Um, there is a happiness with a person like this in the house, okay? This person is a, a child, okay? Who's always moaning about themselves, their own needs. Um, I also feel here, okay, that with this, um, this energy, you feel like you always need to protect yourself, overly protect yourself from this person, okay? 
that's what I feel here with this um, because this person may come across too over dominating okay excuse me <clears throat> let's clarify the six of cups why is the six of cups here please why is the six of cups here please <clears throat> We have the Hierophant, could be married to this person. This could be a spiritual transformation as well. A spiritual lesson even, okay? A karmic lesson from the past that you are needing to deal with now in the present future. Um, yeah, could be dealing with the Taurus here, okay, as well. See, what I'm getting from this as well, okay, is that um, with this marriage, okay, it's kind of like stopped, okay, whatever it is, you've stopped. You've come, you've backed away from this person, you've backed away from the situation, you pulled yourself personally away within yourself, even if not physically, okay? But I feel like this is physical, you pulled yourself away. You've gone stalemate, okay? You're looking at a situation, you're planning ahead, you're thinking about the situation, you're trying to break free from this toxic person, okay? This situation. That's serving you no, nothing but just headache and heartache, okay? This person is just no good. This person puts a lot of tension on your shoulders, on yourself, okay? Your energy feels drained with this person because you always have to overly protect yourself, your own energy, okay? Um, so you've kind of like put yourself in that position, okay, where you're kind of in just in suspension right now, okay? And you've put restrictions on yourself, all right? Or in this marriage or in this family life, okay? Let's clarify the death. Why is the death here? Why is the death here, please, Angel Guards? Why is the death here? We have a reversal. Six of Cups. I would love to say, okay, that you're trying to move on, okay, from a past situation. But really, okay, you may have this unrealistic expectation that even though you are going through this transformation and you're moving on, okay, and it's kind of like um, you stay there and I'm going, okay, kind of energy, you're still stuck in the past, all right? You're still stuck in this past or this person is making you stuck in the past, okay? Ace of Swords, you will get a breakthrough, okay? You will get out of this, but you need to cut off that energy, okay, with the past. So this could be a past person here that we're dealing with, okay? You need to cut off that energy from this past person, all right? And you need to become the effing empress, okay? You need to be the empress because the empress doesn't deal with an emperor in reverse. The empress deals with an emperor who is upright, okay? All right? This is about your own growth. This is about your own learning. You need to remember that you are the empress, okay? And the empress is not going to have somebody with who is always in reverse. Whether that's a king, whether that's a queen, whether that's empress, that's whether that's an emperor. Gender is not specific here, okay? But anything in reverse, the emperor is not going to have, okay? Whether she's in a pre-empress mode, whether she is in a pre-emperor mode, this person is not having any reversals, okay? Let's clarify uh, your recent past, Page of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune, we have the Queen of Swords. So you basically, um, you took a chance, okay, in the recent past to tell this person, all right, how the fuck you see it, all right? You're more of a very perceptive, independent kind of person. And you had to tell this person, okay, that listen, all right, I'm not having none of this shit. I've been watching you and I don't like what I see. Simple as, okay? And you had to tell this person this. Yeah, see, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. Okay? This was not my wish fulfillment. This is not what I wanted. Okay? So you decided to go for your own wishes, your own dreams, your own inspirations. Okay? Um, all right. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Like, I'm not seeing any happiness in this. Like, on the emotional level, there is no happiness in this family, but there is a lot of routine um, structure. But again, you know, there's no happiness. It's just like day in, day out, same thing. Seven of Cups, a magician. So you're manifesting your choices, okay, in regards to this family life, in regards to home. You're manifesting your choices. You're manifesting to see what you can do in regards to this uh, twin flame connection and how you can move forward or away from it successfully. Yeah, moving away from it successfully, okay? So you're trying to see how you can move out even, okay, from this home, away from this person, away from this two twin flame connection. You just don't want it anymore, okay? So for some of you, you could be thinking about leaving, okay, this person or this home. Let's clarify the paid of wands. OK, 
King of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Again, you see, whoever this person is, okay, like if this is you, you're trying to find a new direction, okay? Something where you're going to be more grounded, okay, in this connection. Somewhere where you're going to have more control and more power in this connection. But again, I feel like this is the other person though. All right, Libras, I feel like this is the other person. You're looking the other way. This person's looking the other way. All right, this person's looking for a new adventure, a new a lustful adventure, perhaps even, okay? But at the same time, it's like they're always watching over their shoulder, right? This person ain't got nothing to lose. They're an independent person. They have discipline, okay? Um, only for themselves, by the looks of it. Page of Wands, yeah. You see, they're, they're quite flirtatious at times too, okay? A little bit of flirtatious, um, you know, this, um, what's that word I'm looking for? They like to admire other people, okay? They like to admire other people. They like to peek through other people's hole, okay? I know that sounded wrong. In other words, they're a bit of a spy, okay? They like getting nosy in other people's businesses. Um, I also feel that they're a little bit mentally restless. So for them, it's kind of like... It's, it's kind of like, I don't even know how to explain this, okay? This person's energy is coming off a bit weird. Again, there's the death card, okay? So there is going to be an ending. I think this person wants to end it as well, all right? To be honest, this person wants to end it as well. I don't know if they want to end it with you or whether they want to end it with this whole behavior that's going on within themselves, but they want to end it, okay? Clearly, this is you, all right? They see you as somebody who is always spying on them, watching them, okay? And they want to cha change their direction from this as well. So that's another way I can see this as well, all right? Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. See, clearly, you guys are a twin flame connection here, okay? Um, so let's see what's going on. You're also a soulmate connection. Right now, you're just focusing on separating yourself from this, this connection, this person. And work on your own independence. Work on your higher self and you're trying to, get, you're trying to listen, okay? Um, in regards to your higher self what is it that your higher self wants and you're trying to find your own self-worth see that there that's your self-worth that's what you're trying to find right now nine of pentacles abundance your self-worth okay could be dealing with a virgo this could also be your person they're trying to figure out their own self-worth as well all right but i see this as you both have shit that you both need to deal with all right this person has a lot of growing that they need to do Let's clarify the temperance. Why is your person or the situation the way it is? Okay, could be dealing with the Virgo. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay. So your person's withdrawn themselves and they've gone into this whole soul searching. Okay, trying to find balance within themselves. They're trying to work on themselves or either on this relationship. I feel like they're trying to work on themselves because there is these issues within themselves, these challenges within themselves that they really do need to work on, okay? Until they don't work on that, they're not going to be able to come out of this situation, this pre-emperor mode, okay, in reverse to... Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have the Strength card. We have the World card, okay? So, yeah, you're manifesting something new, okay? You may be trying to relocate um you could be working on your own self-confidence okay but i feel like there's this completion here that whatever it is you're trying to manifest on a physical level it could be your own appearance it could be within yourself um how you see yourself how you perceive yourself again your self-worth there's going to be a fulfillment and a completion in this okay let's clarify the queen of cups why is the queen of cups here please angel guards why is the queen of cups here Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. So you are really, really intuitively, okay, intuitively you are determined, okay, but you also know, all right, what it is that you need to do. And with the Six of Swords, you're relocating. Yeah, you're relocating, okay, you might be finding a new house, okay, which is what I got from here, moving out, moving towards a new direction, all right, relocating, leaving this person behind, okay, this could be your person as well. All right. 
Okay, Libras, um, I'm going to leave this here and I'm taking this into extended. You guys can find the extended in the playlist, okay, on my channel, which is in extended, all right, or you might follow straight after this video. Take a leave whatever you wish to from this reading. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, okay, because that way I know that you're enjoying this content, okay, keeping it real and organic all the time on this channel, honestly. And without you guys, this channel would not be, because this is not my channel, this is our channel, right? So don't forget to smash that subscribe, okay, don't forget to smash that like, share as well, because if it doesn't resonate with you, it may resonate with somebody else that you know okay don't forget to check out the merchandise as well okay guys um while you're waiting for these amazing beautiful gorgeous bracelets okay so don't forget to check out the merchandise okay and if you're feeling guided to support me then go ahead and do so okay no fuss no rush um and i'll see you guys real soon bye